Well, this house is what's called a grid-tied net zero home, and so it's still tied in with the energy grid, but um, it, um, during times of high production, it overproduces for what it's using, so that at night there's, um, you've made up for the power that you use with what you produce during the day. And over the course of the year, you actually have a zero dollar energy bill. Uh, which, for us, the, it was really the aging in place target market that really bridged between the original green generation that are now empty nesters and this new emerging green generation. So by building a house to fit both of those target markets, we really found something that was very marketable and very desirable. Everything is market available, um, and definitely a lot of the features are things that could be integrated into houses right now. In the windows, uh, etc., all the frames that are in the home are 98% post-consumer post -cycle, uh, post recycled materials. Actually, there's a touchscreen interface for the control system that um, is built with all um, market available parts. Our roof also adapts, so it goes from zero during transport all the way up to 40 degrees during the winter and every degree uh, iteration in between. The photovoltaic system, the solar thermal system that are in the home are already um, popular systems in green circles. The decking that we have is recycled milk jugs. Um, cooktop is actually an induction cooktop. It directly heats the metal inside the pan instead of um, heating kind of the air, the pan, and everything around. Our adaptable tables that slide out of walls when they're not in use. Oven that we have is a combination of convection oven and microwave. Chairs that are sitting behind me that hang on the wall flat like artwork that were designed by Studio Drawer in New York. Nothing in the house is necessarily a special solar product because the um, power that's being produced with the PV is converted into regular AC like homes already use, so everything within the house um, could be implemented by someone if they wanted to, um, to update their existing home or um, make changes. And the nice thing about the, um, the grid-tied PV is if you wanted to start your system slowly, you might not net zero right away, but you might be able to add a few panels, but you wouldn't be worried that you wouldn't have enough power to meet your everyday needs. You might be able to kind of step that through um, more slowly and as you could afford to make additions to your system. curve for energy efficiency is really amongst us right now. I live in a 1950s home that was built before energy efficiency was even a twinkle in anyone's eye. And now that technology has been integrated through my own redesign to now make it a very energy efficient and space efficient residence. So I see that the impact of green technologies is just right around the corner.